All right. Now if we view rendered. Okay. That's good. Um and we don't want full strength because we don't want that much color affecting the image. So now let's add a light with an emitter. Strength two, color white, and let's view it. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, let's shrink this down a little bit. And we'll add a backlight with blue. Make this separate blue. And let me rotate this guy. Whoop! I grabbed the. Yeah, I grabbed the wrong thing. Yeah, rotate X90. And we'll drag this guy back here. And I think. Let me see, where's that button to turn it off? Yeah. We don't want to view that in the camera. And now it's view rendered. Okay, good. And let's just move this guy down here. So it doesn't look like he's floating, which he was before. Okay, that's good. Let's check from this view. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's actually tint this guy a little bit brighter. And turn down this guy a little bit. You can see he's a little bit overpowering. light from the front too. So let's actually rotate this guy a little bit. Make it bigger. And view render. Okay, that's much better. But you will see that we've got some really, really dark areas. Especially like, especially like in the creases and stuff, especially like here. Um, I mean it's not as obvious because that side's flatter, but especially let's look in the back. Yeah, like right here, it's super dark, and we can give it diffuse and make it bright, but it's still it's gonna be dark back there. And if you hold up a piece of paper, like out and put it right against the window, you'll notice that it isn't fully solid. I mean, like, light can shine through it. And that's subsurface scattering. And Cycles doesn't currently support subsurface scattering. But since, there, since, since the width of a sheet of paper doesn't vary that much, I mean, in atomic levels it does, but doesn't vary that much, we can simply make the entire thing a little bit more transparent. So, let's just open our node editor. And select this guy. And all we have to do is add a mix shader, wherever that is, there it is. And a translucent or transparent shader. I think translucent works better. And now if we go back to this view. It's a lot, lot brighter. It doesn't have as much many deep shadows. 
And if you wanted, you could texture this object fairly easily. Just you unwrap. There's a lot of races in there. And this, um, so this might take a little while. Uh, maybe I do. Oh, that didn't work. Oops. Uh, oh wait, I can press Control V. No, that's not going to shrink it fast enough. Let's say you mind that. So I'm just playing around with these settings, just choosing different options. Yeah, that'll work better. So, oh wait, that no, that didn't work. Just split it out each individual face. Smart UV project, maybe. Mm, nope, that didn't work either. Let's try. Follow active quads. No. Keep project. <laughs> it looks like a little alien or something. Uh, cylinder project. Sphere project. Project from view. No, that won't work. Um. You know, let's just you choose one of these. Make sure it doesn't have too much, and then we can add um, too much stretch. And yeah, that's pretty good. And then we can add a, like a lot of bump map with some extra wrinkles in it. So let's find a texture to add. I'll um, let's see. And we want plain paper. And um, find ones with some nice crinkles in it. I actually like that one. I like this one's probably the best though. <coughs> cool. And image open. Um, and. Downloads. And we want some more detail. So we'll use this like it's smaller. So we're gonna now add the texture with image texture. Good, and we don't really want that actually affecting color. We want that to affect the displacement. So we're gonna drag this right here. View rendered. Yeah, and that's a little bit too much. And I think it's actually going in instead of out. Yeah, it looks like it's going in. Um, so what we're going to have to do is add a converter color ramp. Let me zoom this out a little bit, actually, so it renders faster. Alright, that'll render faster now. And I think we can just. Oh, wait. We can just select that bit, which is the part we want to render. Alright, yeah, that's good. Um, now let's see what happens if we drag this up. Still a little bit too much, I think. Mm, B spline is smoother. <coughs> <coughs> mm, 
Okay, that looks good. So, let me hit render and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. Well, here's what it uh, looks like when it's done rendering. And I do think I still had a little bit much with the uh, texture, but it's not too bad. Um, so, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope you learned something. Um, if you ran into any problems, um, please comment below. And if you've got any suggestions for future tutorials, please comment below. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see um, more that are coming. Um, so, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.